Good morning. I am Miss Rachel, and I was born in the United States of America in Iowa. I am also from the United States of America, which happens to be the country that I am going to talk about today. The United States of America is on the continent North America. It is neighbored by Canada to the north and Mexico to the south. Here is a picture of the United States of America's flag. As you can see, it has 13 stripes for the 13 British colonies and it has 50 stars that represent the 50 states. In the United States of America, there isn't a specific language. However, most citizens in the USA do speak English, which is what we are learning at our school, HIS. The United States doesn't have a special traditional food, but when I think of America, I think of deep fat fried food. Fried funnel cakes, pickles, cheese balls, onion rings, yum, or pizza. And of course, we can't forget about that delicious Angus beef steak and potatoes. In the United States of America, a big holiday we celebrate is Thanksgiving. Abraham Lincoln, the president in 1863, declared Thursday, November 26th, as a national holiday of Thanksgiving and praise. Some think it was George Washington or even the Pilgrims in 1621. No matter what you believe, in the USA, we celebrate Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November. Americans gather for a day of feasting, football, and family. Hi, my name is Otto, and my, I'm from Finland, and today we're going to talk my home, about my home country. Finland flag colors have two meanings, white for Christiany, blue for thousands of flags in Finland. Finland is in the north part of Europe. The countries beside it are Russia and Sweden. Finland's main food is Karelian pasty. It's a kind of bread with filled with soy, best with egg butter. 90% of the Finland people talk Finnish, but 5.5 also talk Swedish, and 4.5 talk Russian. The main holiday of Finland is Midsummer Festival. Finns celebrate it on June 10th. If you make a bonfire at Midsummer Festival, it will scare the bad luck away. Hi, my name is Jerry Chen. I was born in Hong Kong, but my home country is China. Hi, my name is Callum Kennedy. I was born in Canada, and that's what we are going to talk about today. This is a map from Canada to Iowa. As you can see, it's not very far. The flag represents their break from the European leadership of the past. The leaf represents the maple tree. In Canada, they speak as their main language, English and French. Canada is bordered by the USA and Greenland. The famous foods in Canada are waffles with maple syrup and poutine, which is a bunch of french fries with gravy. Yummy! Canadian people don't really have a piece of traditional clothing, but the Mountie uniform is pretty common. In Thanksgiving, they eat turkey and chicken. They celebrate it in second Tuesday of October. Hi, my name is Muscat and I was born in India but I'm from China and I have another partner called Chisato. My name is Chisato, I am from Japan but I am from China. Today we're going to talk about Japan and we are going to talk about the culture, the festival food, what they wear and all some other stuff. Here we go! The dead jewelry from several the sun houses and lights. In addition to the dead import. I'm going to show you where Japan is and here is Japan's location. Japan's favorite food is sushi. 
in Japan, the tradition is Japanese New Year. You should visit Japan because Japan is a really colorful country. It has lots of flowers and it has also really good Japanese food. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jerry and I am born in the United States of America, but I'm from China. And I have another partner called Annika, is right here. Hi, my name is Annika and I am from China and born in the United States of America. Today we're going to be talking about China. Most people in China speak Mandarin or other provinces speak Chinese. Chinese is also one of the most spoken languages on this planet. The flag is red and they have five stars of red, represent the communist revolution. The five stars and their friendship represent the unity of the Chinese people under the leadership of the communist party of Day named Chinese New Year, which is celebrated because the old monster Yan, who attacked the old village, they thought of an idea to get rid of them, so they were red and yellow, put up fireworks. Now, on Chinese New Year, you wear red and yellow, play the drums, and put on fireworks. They also eat yang gao, which is dough, beef, and other dishes. But we do not know when Chinese New Year started because it's a long time ago. Chinese New Year is one, one week and starts on February 9th. Hello, my name is Andy, and I was born in Canada, and my home country is Canada. Hi, my name is Elias, and I was born in Yemen. My, name, my home country is also in Yemen, so now that's the country we're talking about. Yemen is a coastal country south of Saudi Arabia and west of Oman. Its south and west sides is surrounded by the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The Yemen flag was actually adopted from different countries. The red on the top stands for bloodshed of their country. The white stands for the bright future and last. Black for the dark past. Yemen has many languages, but the most spoken language is Arabic. In Yemen, one of the national holidays is the Unity Day of Yemen. It is held on May 22nd, the day South and North America was united. It is celebrated for the day Yemen was united. Yemen now usually wear a long, often white garment. It is worn with a jambia, a type of dagger with a curved end. Many Yemeni women keep on wearing sandy curtain style dresses. Hi, my name is Manmi and I was born in India and I live in China. And hi, my name is Sumin and I was born in Korea but I live in China. And so today we are going to talk about Korea. Hope you are excited. So the first thing is we are going to talk about is a Korean holiday was called Shusa. The Korean people going to their hometown and the children meet their grandma and grandpa. In Korean, we speak the language called Korean. Korea is surrounded by China and North Korea. Korea is 
near the Pacific Ocean, it is a small country. No. Do you know that if you live in Korea and you've never tried seaweed, you will be very unlucky because it is so yummy that you can't forget the flavor. Do you know the red part means positive, the blue part means negative, the top left means sky, the top right line means water, and the bottom left line means fire, the bottom right line means earth, and the white area of the flag means love, bright, and peace. I am born in India, but I live in China. Hi, my name is Suryan, and I'm I born in Korea, but I live in China. This is gulab jamun. It is very special because it is a sweet. They mostly serve it at every Indian restaurant. Roti is also very special because people eat it with everything. It's basically just Indian bread. These are some things you can eat it with. The flag is orange on top, white in the middle, and green on the bottom. The blue middle circle has 24 lines that represent the 24 hours of the day. In different states, they speak different languages. Maya languages speak Hindi. Diwali is the very special holiday in India. They light candle and do all the things they do for praying. Have a safe trip to India. India.